Hi, John. This is uh, where, it, where it all starts. What you do is you type in um, your web address, tarpontrips.com forward slash blog forward slash WP dash admin. It'll bring you to this page. Uh, just click on login with username and password and fill in the information. Right now I've just got defaults in here. Um, it'll up a username for the username and then um, a password. Uh, I'll pass that on to you in an email. But anyway, you just fill in the information, hit login, <clears throat> and it'll bring you to your dashboard, which is this page. And it will, uh, it's got a lot of information about the site. Uh, it, there's a whole bunch of stuff over here. Plugins you may or may not be familiar with. If you wanted to add, uh, say, a slideshow or something, there's a plugin for that. But um, this is, you know, the CSS editor and all this other stuff. But basically, for changes to your blog, just go to Pages, click on that, and it'll, in your case, it'll only have the one page, the blog. So you just click on the on the blog, and it'll take you to your blog. This is the visual editor of your blog. And you can see why they call it that, because this is the HTML editor, which probably looks familiar as well. So if you ever have to do any kind of inline CSS or whatever, you go to this one. But it sounds like you'll only ever need this. Now if you wanted to add a story type uh, <clears throat> or whatever, uh, say you wanted to add something here, wherever you want to add it you just click and you just start typing. If you want to add a photograph or a chart or anything that's like a visual, you just come up to add media and it will take you to your media library. If what you need is already loaded, then you would just click on it and hit insert page. Now if you wanted it full size, um, you know, you can do that or you can make it smaller. You can also set the alignment right here. Um, if it's, if, it, if you need something new, you hit upload files, select it, it takes you out to your computer, you find the file that you want, and then you upload it. But uh, just go over here to the media library and say uh, you want this one. You can add a caption here, put in all of, the, all of your alt text uh, in a description. And like I said, here's the alignment. And this one is so small, I don't think it has, oh, it does have one option. But if it's a small picture, you have less options. Uh, but anyway, just hit insert in page and there it is and now ch say you change your mind now I don't want it in the center you just click on it and, and you can edit you know you can change the uh, alignment and put it back in the middle um, there's a toggle switch right here uh, if you don't see if you only see one roll run one row of tools, click the button and, and it'll bring them all up. Um, this makes your text bold, makes it italic. I don't know why you'd ever want to put a line through anything, but there you go. If you want to add a list with just like bullet points, you do this. If you want to add one that's numbered, use this. If you have um, a quote from a magazine article or whatever, uh, this block quote is what you would use. Uh, you just hit that and you paste in whatever the story was and it literally will put like a little box around it um, indicating that it's a, it's a quote. If you want a dividing line it's just a thin little dotted gray line. See how it's, it's just real thin. You would use that. If you want to do colored lines and all of that you'd have to go into the text editor and do inline CSS. But if you just want a dividing line that's the way you do it. Um, say you didn't want the stuff centered, you wanted a line to the left, you know, center, right. If you want to make, um, say I wanted to make this photograph a link, I would just click on it, come up to the link button, and it brings this up, you type in the whole URL or paste it in, including the HTTP part, uh, then you just hit apply, but I don't have one in there, so I'm not going to do that. Um, if you have 
one that's a link that you no longer want it to be a link, then you break it right here. Um, if you have a really long story, you like say you have the you might want to put the first couple sentences in, and then you would insert one of these uh, read more tags, uh, which would it would collapse the story until you hit the little tag. Uh, this again is your toggle bar. Here's all of your H1 tags, H tags, H1 through 6. Um, if you want something underlined, select it, hit that. This justifies everything, so all your text will be you know, justified left and right. This is your text color. If you don't see the color you want here, just hit custom, and it'll bring you out to this. And you can pick whatever color you want. You just slide this up and down. And so that way, you're not just limited to the colors that you saw in that default window. Um, the rest of the, yeah, you know, if you have CSS in there and you don't want any formatting, click that. Uh, these are for your indents, and this is like a Command Z, or Control Z. Um, whatever editing you do, make sure you save it by hitting the update. I'm not going to update this for obvious reasons. I've just been messing around. If you ever mess up something, this is a lifesaver right here. You just hit the, um, the browse, and that's running slow. Come on. Um, and this is a timeline. You can see it, it goes back. So, um, because this is metal, but you know, say everything was good until this point. Then you just click on, on that and hit restore. And that's about it. Um, if you if you have any questions, whatever, uh, just give me a call. And but this is a visual that um, hopefully will help you through you know adding, deleting, whatever you need to do, updating your blog. Anyway, talk to you later.